Hi, a KiCad question that I often receive from students of KiCad like a pro is how can we use an auto router in KiCad? In KiCad 4 there was an auto router that you could access through a right click uh, but in um, KiCad 5 this feature seems to have been removed and I guess this is because the KiCad developers are planning to perhaps release uh, an integrated version of the auto router. I'm not sure exactly why but nevertheless uh, in KiCad 5 just like in KiCad 4 you can use the external free routing um, auto router to do the same thing. So in this video I wanted to show you how to do that. So uh, the free routing open source auto router, uh, you can find it here under freerouting.org. And uh, you will need to install this application separately on your computer uh, as it doesn't come with KiCad. I found that the easiest way to do that, as per the instructions here on the free routing website, is to download and install the layout editor package. So this is another uh, application. You can uh, go into its, uh, let's actually, uh, let me go back to the root of the layout editor website. Uh, hold on, one step back right here. So this is uh, a commercial application but it includes free routing uh, in its compiled form so that you can uh, install it on a large variety of operating systems. So let's see, you go here, you download it from this location, uh, you grab the installer that matches your operating system, you download it, and eventually once the installation finishes you have layout editor plus free routing the the binary version on your operating system so then you just need to figure out where on your operating system on your file system the uh, .jar file uh, that contains a free routing application is installed in my case I'm using Ubuntu here so you can see that uh, the installation uh, in, uh, stored the freerouting.jar file under opt layout and bin. So whatever is the case uh, on your operating system, uh, this is a Java application so you need to have the Java runtime environment available and configured so that you can right click on it and select you know, the uh, runtime environment under which free writing will run or simply double click on it. In my case, because I can't really remember this, I simply copied the .jar file and placed it on my desktop so it's easy for me to get it. So let's go ahead and do a bit of auto routing. I've got this simple board and I'd like to use free routing to do the routing. So what I do, step number one is to go into file, export spectra DSN file. So then save that somewhere that you can retrieve it in a moment. And I'll put this away since I don't need this anymore. I use this to uh, install the JRE on my Ubuntu uh, virtual machine a bit earlier. So then double click on the .jar file, you should execute uh, there you go, edit. So I'm going to go into my project and uh, retrieve the DSN file uh, that free uh, that um, uh, KiCad just created. I'll open that up, and there is uh, free routing with my unrouted board. You can see all the footprints here. Now free routing is a very capable auto router. It's got a lot of features that I'm not going to go into any detail at the moment. I'm, I'm just going to show you how easy and quick it is to auto route this board. So simply go to routing, click on auto routing. This is going to take a few seconds. And there you go, it's done. So it was able to do this uh, auto routing in maybe about 10 seconds you can see that it didn't need to use any vias um, of course you can 
control, he can configure uh, the various aspects of the auto router. He can tell it, for example, that you'd like a certain route to be done either on the top uh, layer or the bottom layer. You can do things like that. But uh, either case, uh, the routing is complete now. So we want to get this information back into KiCad and PCB new. So we have to export this information. To do that, you go into File, Export, and we'll export the Spectra session file. So yes, I'll export the file and save the uh, auto routing information as well. So now let's go back into KiCad and into PCB new and we want to import the uh, route or we want to import the spectra file and to do that we go to file and import spectra session and it's the .scs file so double click on that and there you go we've got the auto routed board inside PCB new and the last thing that you should really do is to do a DRC check. So make sure that the auto router hasn't broken any of our design rules. So start DRC. Looks like everything is correct and there's nothing left for me to connect. Awesome. So um, whether you should be using the auto router or not uh, is a hot topic for debate. A lot of people prefer to use it at least to get started. Uh, with the routing process, uh, others uh, don't use it at all. KiCad 5 does have an interactive router which makes routing very efficient and in my opinion once you have a bit of experience and knowledge uh, in doing this sort of work, the interactive router with your skill produces results that are far superior to what any auto router can produce. But free routing is a tool certainly worth knowing about and uh, I think that after watching this video you've got a, a better idea of what it's all about and how you can use it.